So many crises now in housing and indeed in mental health and indeed in all kinds of issues that are out there. The Passport Office. I want to welcome Tom O'Callaghan, Independent Postmaster, to the gallery today. Our Post Office Network is forgotten about. And your previous government and, and your confidence and supply and now your own government and you're paying lip service, not even paying lip service, to, po to, to the, the private contractors who are operating the posts. All through uh, the COVID situation, they dealt, they ponied up as always. You have even uh, interfered with him now as regards the passport. So what are you going to do, any meaningful action, to save the, these post offices? Hundreds of them will be lost to the service, and it's more on two ways, Shane. It's a great pity because they are the people that are in the communities looking after people daily and looking out for them and giving that service for our pittance. And you're paying lip service to them. Thank you. And it's not even been thank mentioned thank now. So uh, hopefully you're going to do something. With report after report, thank we you, need Deputy action. Minister. Uh, thank you, Deputy McGrath. I too would like to, to welcome Tom O'Callaghan to the gallery and uh, to say that the government. Um, strongly acknowledges uh, the important role of post offices in urban and rural communities all over the country. Sometimes they're just held up as being important in rural areas, they're important in urban areas too. Uh, and uh, Minister Hildegard Nocton in particular has been working on this issue and is about to bring uh, a proposal to government. Uh, we are conscious that the transformation payments uh, that were in place uh, are due to end at the end of this year and we're very anxious as a government to support the post office network and I do expect there will be confirmation of a government initiative with a view to safeguarding as many post offices as possible around the country uh, very shortly. Thank you very much.